my beautiful people, you're welcome back to this channel. I am elated to announce to you today that I bear with me good news. Like, <laughs> you know, in my previous videos, I kept saying that the OSPA program for 2023, 2024, everything is booked. Like, probably to 2025, all the five universities are booked booked and for this year 2023 you cannot apply except those people that applied in 2022 and are going to resume september 2023 they are booked so you cannot apply again this year but then i was making my research and i stumbled on a particular website and guys it is worth sharing because I bear with me good news according to the book of saint university of sunderland <laughs> so I saw on University of Sunderland that there's an expression of interest form that you can feel against 2024 admission. Yeah, you heard me right. And I'm going to be displaying it on my screen for you to see. Yes. So they categorically stated it that admissions for 2023-2024 is fully booked. Like they're not taking any more um, students, but then they did not state on their website that 2024, 2025 is booked. Instead, they put out an expression of interest form. So I just pray that there won't be so much backlogs, is it backlogs now, from 2022, 2023, such that they still have enough room, enough space to accommodate more admissions, more applications in 2024. So admissions usually open us applications usually start may june every year so may june 2023 you might not be able to apply because everyone is booked but well, come may june 2024 hmm? if you're able to do your gphc i'm just analyzing for you now if you're able to do your gphc um adjudication then you get your adjudication letter from gphc this year you know the letter as two years expiry so 2024 2025 it will still be relevant meaning that come 2024 may june when application for sunderland opens mm, you can simply apply knowing that you have put in your expression of interest they can reach out to you to you know put in your application so by 2024 you can still start your ospa program i just strongly believe that that is what is going to happen i don't know of other universities in fact kingston university categorically put it out there that there is no admission till 2025 but for sunderland they did not state mm? so let me give you more gist about university of sunderland like i've been there no i've not been there in fact, I've never taken an international aircraft, although I've boarded a local flight, <laughs> but I watch YouTube videos a lot. So I've seen somebody that studied at the University of Sunderland. She did an OSPAP there and she shared her experience. She said that it's a small city, it's a small town, <laughs> and that that place can be very boring. University, it's just a small village. They've got a football club as well, Sunderland FC. And then, yeah, there are a few mix of coaches as well but it is for like people that like like reserved environment so for like me that used to live in abuja in nigeria it was very easy for me to just blend into the sunderland culture at some point it became really boring i mean like it was so boring i was like oh my gosh what am i doing here because i'd once been in newcastle and newcastle was okay because you know it's still a bit drivier and all that eh? If you're a bookworm, that's an avenue for you to study art. No distractions. So what is boring? Even in this country, in Nigeria, if you travel to another state that you don't have any family members, you don't have any friends over there, you get bored. So it's, it's, not, it's not peculiar to University of Sunderland. It's not enough reason for you to say you're not going to attend that university. Knowing that, number one, it is almost the cheapest university Yes, talking of tuition, the tuition as at 2021, they paid 17,250 for 2021-2022 academic year. Hmm? Or is it 2022 2023 academic year? They just stated that it's 17,250 pounds a job. So, and then if you are doing MSc, one year MSc, if you are doing PGD, I made a video, I tried to differentiate between OSPAP PGD and OSPAP MSc and what you should consider before you choose your choice, before you make your choice. Do well to check that video, check it out. So back to my discussion. You're going to be paying two thirds 
of the MSC fee. So if you punch your calculator now, two third of 17,250 is what you're going to be paying if you want to do your OSPAP PGD in, at the University of Sunderland. They did not pay me to promote this university. I'm just sharing the information to you according to how I saw it. And I know that it will be beneficial to you in decision making because somebody has reached out to me that I'm just bluffing about that there's no admission till 2025. And I was wondering, am I giving the right information but at the wrong time? No. Mm -hmm. Because this information is still going to be useful to you, regardless of the time. So, um, I also found out that they shared a one month expenses in, in in Sunderland generally. Like how much is going to cost a student to live in Sunderland? And I found that for two thousand and twenty one. So this is just like an average expenses. It could be a bit cheaper or a bit. Uh, more expensive depending on you and your choices so you'll find this useful so that you can you know better prepare your mind as to how much you need to be making every month <laughs> so guys after all has been said and done the decision is all yours whether to go to the university of sunderland or not but if you ask me since they'll be opening come 2024 since there seems to be a green light that is blinking that there will be applications for 2024. Why not? I'll go ahead if I were you, if I have the funding, I'll just go ahead with my GPHC adjudication process. I made a video on all the steps that is required of you. Please do well to check that video out. So I'll do my adjudication. I'll get everything ready such that by May, June 2024, I will just proceed with my application for OSPAP. Mm -hmm you get i hope you found this video useful and if you do have any question whatsoever do well to ask me in my comment section and if you want to find out more information you can reach me on my instagram and i'm going to be leaving my handle on the screen for you to see as well as under the description also i'm going to be leaving the link to this expression of interest form in the description for you to see so please do want to smash a subscribe button if you're yet to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications your love eh, if you do me something no you people should please show me love thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next video bye